In this video, I've got a fix for the flatsome theme image size problem, which if you've got that problem, it's been an ongoing problem and it's been a right pain and we haven't been able to fix it. But now I've got a solution, so let's roll the tape. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So yeah, as I said, I've found a fix for the flatsome image size problem, which um, if you're aware of it, if you're running flatsome theme with WooZone and Amazon remote images, uh, basically what's happening is the images aren't appearing the right size. Um, and yeah, a lot of people have had this problem and hopefully I've got a fix that's gonna work for you. Um, so let's get on the computer and uh, I'll show you what it is. Okay, so I'm over at my test site, uh, which is running Flatsum and the latest version of WooZone. As you can see, these images are not the right shape and size. Well, they're probably the right shape, but they're not the right size. They're all different, so it means that on a category page like this or on your main shop page, it can look a little bit messy when they're all different heights. So we're going to add some CSS now to Flatsum, and what we're going to do is just simply uh, copy and paste the code in, and that's going to adjust the size of these images. One thing I will say is that it may crop the image slightly, so uh, you might lose the bottom of the image or whatever, um, depending on on the shape and size of it. Uh, I don't think that's such a big problem because obviously when you click through to the product, you'll then see the full size image. So um, the code is this here, which I've got in my notes, just this little bit here. I'm going to copy that. As I say, you can find this bit of code on um, wpeagle.com on the relevant blog post. I'll put a link in the description. And within this video somewhere, I'm sure you'll see it. Now these numbers within the code, the 250 and 320, you can adjust these as you like so that it um, you know, just looks good for you, however you like it. I've been playing around and these numbers seem to be pretty good, um, but let's have a look. So I'm gonna go onto the dashboard, I just need to log in. And then we're gonna go into Flatsum up here. And then we're gonna go into Advanced and Custom CSS. Okay, and then in the top here, we've got this all screens box. I'm just gonna paste that in like that and go save changes. Okay, that's saved. So let's go back and have a look. And then if we refresh. There we go, our images are the same size now. So um, there we go, all done. Doesn't need any regeneration of thumbnails or any of that sort of stuff. It should just work um, straight away. I hope this has fixed your problem. If you're running a different theme, you're probably gonna need different CSS. Um, I'm gonna be doing a brand new affiliate, um, Amazon affiliate website tutorial, a full length one featuring Kingdom again, uh, but just the latest version and latest version of WooZone. So check that out. And I've also got another one in the pipeline using a completely different theme. Um, so again, they should all be out within the next month or two, hopefully even quicker, depending on how quick I can get them all, all recorded and edited. So any questions, please leave them below or get in touch via the usual methods. Uh, but until next time, it's bye for now.